100 yen for the leek and we put it in here. Sweet potato, rum and raisin, chocolate chip. Oh, matcha looks good. Hey guys! Hey guys! It's Kathy Cat and the director! And after we had a live stream with you guys, hopefully you were able to come and join in. We are now going to a farm. A little bit of disinfectant. We're now going to a farm to eat some farm ice cream, which is in Japan said to be one of the most tastiest ice creams if you have it straight from the farm. Straight from the cow. So yeah, off we go! Well, the reason why there's too much milk, there's a surplus of milk right now in Japan, is because the kids in junior high or elementary school kids usually have a meal, a lunch, lunch set that is decided in advance. It's always the same for, for all the classes. And it usually has milk with it. And since they had some school closures, there's too much milk. So we stopped our car on our road trip because over here is a road, Johamba is the word for it. And that's when farmers and similar put down things from the field and you can just buy them right here. It's based on the trust base, which means there's a little thing and you put coins in there and it's it's based on the idea that you're a good person and you're not gonna nick it. And you can see the noren mitaina, noren da yone. You can see like a mat over here to just keep the vegetables in the shade and let's have a look inside da -da -da. oh they also say like they have security cameras here so people don't nick stuff so there is one actually here so some people might be nicking it but generally it's based on a trust base so you pick what you want it will say your price down here below and then you just put it into the little box here and then the old cute lady that was here a moment ago will have that for herself so Nikki leak what is this? What is this? Oh, so that's radish? Like dried radish? So this is the big radish. It's a Japanese radish. It's huge, right? And that's that's my small bits of it that have been dried that you can see in these bags. It looks like pasta. What is this? What, what is this? What? Taro. Oh, pickles. Ah, pickles. Hmm. All right. This lady is adorable. She wrote more over here. What does it say? ヒロイセカイの中であなたに出会えた喜びありがとう。世の中うまくいかないことだってたくさんあるよ。喜ばせたいその人が一番あなたを応援してくれること。これかな。じゃあ、勝てちゃん。Here we go. Thank you. So it will say it is 100 yen for the leak. <laughs> 100 yen for the leak and we put it in here so the cute old lady can have it later when she comes and checks if someone bought her items there there are even bags here i find that really nice she even has some bags here in case you need them but i think we're already we won't even fit this leak in here <laughs> do the leak spin i'm such a pro at this right
Okay, here we're at the Enomoto Bokujo. Somewhere here inside the mall. They're just like the doves just flew out of that house over there. It smells of cow. This is a familiar smell where my mom lives. There's like more cows than people. Pardon? Yes, finally the ice cream here is really, really good. So let's go fi figure it out. There's so many cars here. I think loads of people are bringing their kids and grandkids here. So in Germany, we told people not to give the kids to the grandparents, but here in Japan, there's no other option because there is no babysitter system or similar. So the kids have to be with the grandparents right now because the parents still need to be working. So you'll see a lot of grandparents with kids. Let's go. Italian ice cream and something. <laughs> Italian ice cream and something. Sweet potato, rum and raisin, chocolate chip. Oh, matcha looks good. お願いします。じゃあまず新くるのコーンでミルクをください。他にはカップでだあの2つ味を試しめる。うんうん。おお、抹茶でお願いします。はい、以上です。ありがとうございます。Okay, well, I got myself the milk one because it's the most popular one. Obviously, we said we're going to support the milk producers here of Japan. And then matcha, she said, is another one that she can recommend to us. No, I don't have a free hand because I always have to hold this microphone. So it's going to be interesting. I'll just go wild on this one. Three, two, one. Mm. Wow, that's rich. Ooh. I really taste it. Literally tastes like frozen milk. Like very rich. <laughs> I'm curious about the matcha one now. Also, it's like it's sweet but not too sweet. Mm. Director, how do you like the ice cream? <laughs> Banksy found at the farm! Banksy! <laughs> so this is like the milking robot. The cows, when they feel like the udder is too heavy, they can come themselves. They know this by now and they can get themselves milk. So they just walk into this robot and the robot will take the milk off them. So when they feel like they want to get milk, they can get milked themselves. Ehon, which are books that you flip over when you read them to kids. This one is like all the pro like the rules of the the rules of the farm, how humans and cows will interact, the body of the cow, about milk, how to work with cows, and the life of a cow. <laughs> so, I think up here when they have classes, they will show these pictures and explain to the kids these things, and we can look down from here. Good those cows are so cute. <laughs> Stay safe. Moo! Mm -hmm. You okay there? Moo! Mm -hmm. Ah! <laughs> Right, that was it from a Japanese farm. First time for me being here too. Uh, was interesting, really like the ice cream. And hopefully the farmers won't struggle as much with the milk production. Apart, as far as I know, Japan, not many people will go vegan due to this. So we just have to do something with all the milk now. So hopefully more people will be willing to drink the milk here in Japan and find ways to help you guys, you cozies here. Right. So from now on we're gonna go and try and film more things here outside of Tokyo from the Husbuzz away from too many people and crowded places. So hopefully I'll see you soon for a future video here on Ask Japanese. Don't forget to be subscribed and I'll catch you soon for more stuff from Japan. Bye!